There are some courses that are going to use a different process for copying content into the sh course shells. These courses use Pearson content that uses a custom integration. That means you have direct links within the course content to the Pearson content. You should note that this course co the course content must be copied using this process every term. You cannot, and I repeat, cannot copy your course from a previous term. If you do, the links will break. So you want to go into your empty course shell and you're going to go click on the course content on the nav bar and you're going to click table of contents. And here's the next important thing. Look at that. If you do not see any content, boom, you're good to go. However, if you see any content listed here, any content, please stop and send an email to my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu and tell us that so we can delete it. Because if you copy it, it will append. Once I see that I have no content, I click import and export content. I click the radio button next to parent template of current offering and I click copy all components. On the next screen, you're going to get a cue showing you that the course will be copied. You just have to be patient at this point and do not hit the back button. Once the copy process is done, you'll have a green check. You can now view the content if you want, but because you're using Pearson content, the next step in the process is really important. You have to click on the course content to go back to the course content area. Now, what you want to do is to find a uh, navigate in the course content to anywhere you'll find a link to the Pearson content. So that can be anywhere. So I'm just going to go explore this one and I see this one is to the Pearson content because it says in this particular case my writing lab. But it could be uh, a my math lab, it could be my religion lab, it could be a my IT lab. Doesn't matter. Just find a link to the course content and then click on it. And then what you want to do is click on the content again. The first time you do this, the end user agreement is going to show up. And scroll down and click accept. Now, in some cases, you may have to wait five to 10 minutes after you've clicked on the Pearson link to go back and see the course content again. In this particular case, it came right up. But this is a very important step. Otherwise, your students, I believe, will not have access to the course itself.